Nylas is your one-stop shop for email and calendar integrations. We simplify implementation and ongoing maintenance complexities, providing uniform data through webhooks and REST-based APIs that empower your users to communicate and schedule directly in your app. Power up your application with embedded contextual email, automated outreach, calendar management, and scheduling automation. We'll spend the first half of this demo showing you what you can build with the email API, and we'll spend the second half to show you what you can build with calendar APIs. In this demo, we'll set up a Nihilus account, walk through the Nihilus dashboard, and make some sample API calls in Postman. We'll begin at Nihilus.com. Let's navigate to the button in the upper right-hand corner that says, Build for free. This is where you'll set up your Nihilus organization. In the free sandbox environment, you can test out the full suite of APIs and connect up to five test users. This is a great starting point for anyone looking to dig in and get a hands-on understanding of how the Nihilus functionality works. I have an account already, so let's take a look. Here we have the Nihilus dashboard. In the free environment, you'll use your sandbox application for all of your testing. But as a paid user, you'll be able to create your own apps and build Nihilus into your infrastructure. This is our application overview page. And on this page, we can see some basic info about the app, such as the name, where our data resides, and our client ID. Though we won't be using it today, you will need the client ID when you create an authentication flow within your own environment. On the left-hand side, we can see we have our overview tab, API keys, hosted auth, connectors, grants, and webhooks tabs. If we click on our API keys tab, here's where we can generate a new API key. Our Nihilus API key is what we're gonna use to make all of the API calls. It's really important to keep this credential safe and secure. So more on best practices and secrets in our documentation. So if you need a new key, go ahead and do that now, name it and set an expiration date. I've already set my sandbox a test API key as an environment variable in Postman, but you're going to need to copy this one yourself as it will not be displayed again unless you generate a new one. The host authentication tab is where you'll customize your auth flow that your end users will see. In this case, you can change the application name and a logo for the application. In order to use Nihilus though, you will need to set up a connector with each email service provider. Here in the Sandbox environment, we've pre-configured these for you. So you have Google, Microsoft, iCloud, and every other email service provider under IMAP set up for your ease. In your production environment, you will need to create these connectors with your Google project and Microsoft Azure project credentials, however. The grant section is where we'll authenticate our test users. Remember that your real users will not be using this page to authenticate. You're going to have a similar page in your app with hosted authentication or one of the other methods that we offer. For those who want a quick and easy auth flow, you can use our hosted auth that we lightly touched on earlier. That is a somewhat customizable flow that you can get up and running really quickly. And that's what our dashboard uses. For those who want a little bit more of a tailored flow, we offer custom authentication as well as bulk auth through our service accounts. And you can find more details on all of these flows within our docs. You can see here that Nihilus was able to automatically detect that this was a Microsoft account, even though it may or may not be obvious to the user visually. This means that your users don't have to manually enter their provider or any settings. For testing purposes, the Sandbox environment does request a full set of email calendar and contact scopes, but you can make that list more granular in your production environment. What this allows you to do in the Sandbox is test email, calendar, and contacts. So it's as simple as that. We're going to bring two values with us to Postman. That will be the Nihilus API key that we copied down earlier, 
and the grant ID for our test users. Now I've already configured my Postman environment variables, so let's head over. Now that we're in Postman, I did want to mention that you can download the Nihilus collection directly from our docs. So that's available to you and it has our endpoints. First, we're going to do an email call where we pull a set of filtered messages from our inbox. So you can see in this case, we're using the Taylor Jordan grant ID, and we are searching for all messages that are from Alex. Well, not all, I've limited it to just the latest five messages from Alex at Nihilus.com. Our API key is being sent here in the headers as a bearer token. Let's send it. So here we can see that we have an email from Alex that says hi via API. Now let's grab the ID of that message and set it as an environment variable. Sample message ID. We'll use that in our reply. So let's format that. This of course includes our basic message components, including the subject, which is the same as the previous message because we are replying to a thread, the message body, hello back, and a GIF, and then who it's going to, who it's coming from, and of course, that reply to message ID. And let me make sure that transferred properly it did. Send that. Excellent. Successful call. Now let's go ahead and look at that from our Gmail client. Sent mail for Taylor. So this is my friend Taylor replying to Alex. Hi back from Postman with Nyla and it looks just as if I'd sent it from the Gmail UI. So we also have message tracking available. That is something to keep in mind in our documentation. It is not offered in our sandbox environment, but is something that is offered in the pay as you go plans. Now let's take a look at the Nihilus calendar functionality. In this scenario, I want to set up a meeting with my friend Taylor to figure out where we're going to go for our next climbing trip. But I'm not sure when I'm free, so we'll use the Nihilus calendar APIs to figure this out. All right, so to find availability, we're going to need to leverage the availability endpoint, of course, uh, to see when my primary calendar is free. We can add in things like my open hours in this case, Saturday to Sunday, nine to five, how long I want the time slots to be, in this case, 30 minutes. And if I wanted a uh, buffer time before or after the event, that's also available. A cool feature I think is the X date here. We can exclude a specific date, even if it doesn't uh, have an event on my calendar. Send the call and what we can expect back are a bunch of 30 minute time blocks that are within my open hours and also free on my calendar. So let's just, yeah, let's take this first one. And I've already placed this as environment variables, but let's just do it again for good measure. Okay. Make sure that these are not the same. Yep, that is correct. Oh. Perfect, that was successful. Now we will go back to my calendar and look at that. 9 a.m. on Saturday morning, I've got a climbing trip planning session with my friend Taylor. They have a Google Meet link on their end and all of the information that I've provided for the details of the event. 
So I hope you enjoyed the demonstration today and you're welcome to try out any of this functionality we discussed by heading to nihilus.com and signing up for your own free sandbox trial. Happy developing.